People expected a short fight, but Jameson's bear-like stature and fighting experience proved to be a serious challenge for the Dynamite Kid. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Atlantic City. I'm Ken Wilson, and tonight we are going to watch the very exciting Mike Tyson. And with us, our boxing analyst, the man who knows this game inside and out, Murray Sutherland, who is the reigning USBA super middleweight champion. And Murray, as we get ready for this big fight, there are many who are predicting that Mike Tyson will be the next heavyweight champion. Yes, that's true. Mike is a ray of sunshine coming to the heavyweight division in a division which is sadly lacking exciting opponents. There's a great need for someone that, with the explosive punching power that Mike possesses to bring back some of that excitement that's been missing in the division for a long, long time, since the days of George Foreman and Joe Frazier and guys like Sonny Liston. So hopefully Mike just might be that person. We'll just have to wait and see. And as much as the 11-month career of Mike Tyson reads like a brilliant storybook, the career of his challenger, 31-year-old Mike Jamison, is virtually unpublished. In fact, Jamison's career has basically been with fights out in California. Murray, I wonder, does he really even have a chance of surviving an early round here tonight? I really don't see the fight going too long. Can. I think me, the main thing is Tyson has accepted this fight in preparation for his next big fight, which he has, I think, already signed against Carol the Truth Williams. And as you know, Carol Williams went 15 rounds with the ex-heavyweight champion Larry Holmes. So that will be his first major test. The heavyweights are ready. 12 of Mike Tyson's 16 fights have ended in the first round. Let's go to our ring announcer, Ed Darian from the Trump Casino Hotel here in the boxing capital of the world of Atlantic City, New Jersey, HBA, Josephine Abercrombie and Jeff Levine Promoters and Ron Catch Matchmaker in association with Anheuser-Busch and the Trump Casino Hotel proudly present Friday Night Ringside is approved and sanctioned by the New Jersey State Athletic Commission, the Honorable Larry Hazard, Acting Commissioner, Nick D. Balistrieri, Deputy Commissioner. The Chief Physician in attendance at ringside this evening is Dr. Stanley P. Rogers, along with his fine colleague, Dr. Ronald Wood. The judges, Phil Newman, John Stewart, and Tommy Kazmarek. Counting for the knockdown seconds, alternate referee Joe O'Neill. The timekeeper to bell is Lindsay Tucker. In the ring at this time, the man in charge of the scheduled eight-round heavyweight bout, referee Joe Cortez. And our boxing fans, introducing the principals. First in the blue corner, wearing the green trunks with the white trim. He tipped in at 236 and one quarter pounds. This gentleman has 17 wins, nine losses with eight knockouts. All the way from San Jose, California. Boxing fans, here is Irish Michael Jamison. Jamison. And his opponent in the red corner wearing the solid black trunks. He weighed in at an even 215 pounds. This young man is undefeated in 16 professional bouts with 16 straight knockouts from Catskill, New York. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Mike Tyson. Tyson. Tyson only 19, Jameson the veteran, a huge height and weight advantage and a two inch reach advantage for Jameson. Mike Tyson is the story, the young man originally from Brooklyn, product of a troubled childhood, now on the verge of becoming a world class man. Don't blink, this is round number one. That's, that's the word to use, Ken. I don't think there's going to be too much of a feeling out process, so to speak, in this fight. Tyson is noted for his very vicious quick starts, and he has set the pace right, up, right from the word go. Mike Tyson is a finisher. He's established that early in his career. 
He started the fight off with some wicked right punches and left hooks to the body, which seems to be his trademark. People have compared his punching power to guys like George Foreman and Joe Frazier saying he punches the same, but he's so much faster. It could be over early. As we pointed out, 12 of his 16 pro fights have ended in the very first round. Tyson's longest fight, a fourth round KO of Don Helfen in his third pro fight. Remember, he's been a pro for only 11 months. Yeah, Ken, he has a long, long road ahead of him. He is a young, strong kid. He does, as they say, have a lot to learn, but he's got plenty of time. Round number one. Jameson is uh, doing what I think he has to do, and that's keep on the move. Keep uh, Tyson off balance, and don't lay on those ropes and let him get set up for those wicked punches he throws. He's connecting very well, though, with some good body shots, hard body shots. Jameson's tying him up pretty effectively, tying those punches up in close, not, in allow, not allowing Tyson to get off of these punches. Mike Jameson in the green, you look at him, he's done what a lot of fighters have been unable to do against Mike Tyson. He's lasted a minute and 45 seconds. Jameson's hands seem to be dropping rather fast, though. He is, he's a little bit concerned about those hard body punches, and as you see now, his, his, both his hands are down by chest level, and that's just the opening I think Tyson's waiting for. Tyson fought just 13 days ago, and he had a first-round knockout of Dave Jacko. His next fight, February 16th, against Carl The Truth Williams in Troy, New York. And that really will be the first big test for Mike Tyson. This is the first round. He's trying to finish off Mike Jamison. Tyson connected with a, a good right hand there, and he immediately come back with a good left hook to the body. That's a very good sign that this young fighter is learning what his trainers are telling him. Don't go head hunting. When you connect with that head punch, go right to the body. Jamison now, within 15 seconds of surviving the first round, will he survive? We'll stay here at the end of round number one. Mike Tyson in the black trunks. Figures to be the next heavyweight champion of the world. Tyson. He's Sorry, after him. And that's the end of round number one. Mike Jamison will tell his grandchildren he survived a round against Mike Tyson. I want a good, clean heart fight. Set now for round number two. Mike Tyson takes a quick left from Jameson. Yeah, Jameson, he's, I think his corners told him, hey man, you've got the reach, why don't you use it? Get that left jab out and keep this little guy off you. He Here comes Tyson. Jameson battling back right above us here in Atlantic City. Oh, a right connects to Tyson. One thing about Tyson, he has really not been tested in his career. A lot of the, uh, so to speak, boxing experts are, are wondering, now what happens when this young kid that can punch so hard hits someone and they're still standing there and comes back and hits them back? Is he going to be discouraged or what? This is what experience will tell. Everybody's yet to find this out. Approaching the one minute mark in the second round. Of course, we say Tyson hasn't been tested, certainly not as a pro. As an amateur, he lost to 1984 Olympic gold medalist Henry Tillman. That took away his opportunity to compete in the 84 Olympics in Los Angeles. Jameson has, uh, sub sub has suffered a cut over his left eye. He has a pretty bad cut just over the left eye. It's in a very bad position because if it starts bleeding profusely, it's going to go in the eye and it's going to fall affect his vision. Uh, I think it was opened with some of those nice uppercuts that uh, Tyson's been throwing when he gets close to him. Quite a contrast in conditioning here. Tyson superbly conditioned. Tyson does not have that extreme height. He's 5'11", has the huge neck, 19 and 3 quarter inches. Tyson, the strong left to Jameson in round number two. 
person is showing some, showing me at least some tremendous power. His opponent weighs 236 pounds, and he is just pushing this big guy all over the ring, pushing him away, maneuvering him from, maneuvering him into positions where he wants him to be, so as he can land the best punches. He's showing me some tremendous strength in there. And the blood on the face of Mike Jameson, very evident here in the second round. Jameson this morning had a full beard. He was informed by the boxing folks here in New Jersey that that would have to disappear, and it has. Good right hand landed there, and if, as you've seen, Jameson shook his head as if to say, no, nope, he didn't hurt me, but 99% of the time it did hurt him. The left, the right to the side, late in the second round. Referee Joe Cortez breaking up the fighters. And Tyson just keeps coming at Mike Jamison. Mike Jamison comes out swinging against Mike Tyson. The third round. Tyson is a pro, has rarely seen the third round. I think 